All right, so we're in the shop. Um, the lock doorknob's back. Um, basically, I went up to the Champlain Region Model Rocketry Club in Northern Vermont, uh, launched this puppy there, like you saw. Um, some stories about that. So my goal was to buy the largest motor I could for the current hardware I have, which was this, uh, an Aerotech 54 2800 case. So the most, I believe the most impulse you can fit in there is the L1090 uh, white lightning, which is what I flew. Uh, small miscalculation I only realized the night before. So yeah, the case <laughs> is, as you can see, about as long as my booster section. I realized that this forward closure and the U-bolts for my harness we're trying to occupy the same space. So I actually had to add two and a half inches to the rocket, um, which I did hastily the night before. Um, what's up, buddy? Hi, Eddie. Hi, Eddie. We stole uh -huh, a switch band off some, some rocket parts in here. I actually just cut two inches off this, this airframe I had and stuck it on there and well, it made it work. Um, so yeah, let's go see what this light looked like from the ground, though. We have Sean like his locked doorknob. If I can read the writing, <laughs> orange and white one <clears throat> on a CTI. Aerotech. Sorry, on an Aerotech L1090 white. Ooh. Okay. It's a 23-pound rocket. Don't catch it. No. <laughs> yeah. Main. Uh, it's got an. Egg timer, quantum, and it is at 22, main at 600. Sky is clear, range is clear, going in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Four thick fins. Oh. 4,500. 4,592. Apogee at 4,592. And drugs out, yeah. It's going slow enough, drugs out. Cool. So this is the less glamorous part of it. I still got 2,100 feet to walk. And I think it's actually, I don't know if you can see it, the little white dot over there. Uh... Great flight. I was nervous about the unstiffened coupler with uh, an L1090, which is like 300 pounds of th max thrust I lift off there. Held up fine, straight flight, whistled really cool. And went an extra like, went to 4,200, I think. I was expecting 38, so yeah. We'll check in in a couple minutes. All right, I wanted to prove I didn't fake this, so I'm, we're in the brush, but look at that, it's stuck to landing. All right, folks, there it is. I'm out here with the old bulldozers and excavators. Um, had I done a little research, I could have walked around that field they just manured. So we're gonna take that trip home. Uh, but yeah, super successful, super happy. Um, looks like the nose comb bulkhead kind of pulled through a little bit. Um, I don't know. A better way to do that, but I might be pinning that with fasteners now instead of just relying on epoxy. But everything else is nominal. Nice try, guys. That's not good. That's not good. Yeah. We've got tone. Skies are clear. Range is clear. Yep. Going in five, four, three, two, one. Okay. 
Ha <laughs> ha! That took a long time though.